we wouldn't be here, that's for sure. <laughs> we, yeah, we wouldn't have existed. If Fox didn't have them, if they didn't make X-Men movies, <laughs> then we wouldn't have existed. And neither would this podcast. Hello, everyone, <laughs> and welcome to episode 138 hey. of No Marvel Podcast. Wow. Yeah. So, Stars edition. Stars edition. Oh, God. Um, yeah, so what we were saying, like, just because we were just having a little bit of a chat... Yeah, I do. The real life multiverse has happened. <laughs> the real life multiverse has happened. Yeah, I, I will um, rewatch some stuff. I want to rewatch Scrubs. I want to watch Buffy properly again. Yes. But I can't watch Angel, so what's the fucking point? I know. Uh, the thing is, Angel doesn't kick in till season three. So you basically do the first three seasons, and then they run concurrently. And then Buffy ends season seven, and then the last season, I think season four or five. I don't. I can't remember how long Angel was. It takes place afterwards, but I, think, I, think I don't know what five. happens in Angel. Buffy, Buffy and season seven mm. until they bring it back like they've been meaning to do for the past two oh. years. Oh, oh! New generation, <laughs> which won't, actually. which won't be a reboot, but it's not going to be a, kind of reboot. you Don't know, recast and Make, yeah. It, you know, like how? Sorry, we're just going to talk about Buffy for a bit because why the fuck not? Because we never really do. Yeah. Um, you know, like how it ends <laughs> with like the possibility of like anyone could be the Slayer, like anyone could. Yeah, it's in yeah, the, yeah. the Slayer. Have it that just. Fuck! It's the next Slayer or whatever. There's like another person that's got it that then has to go through that, and then Buffy can be sort of like your Anthony Head character of like the moral compass. And yeah, putting you in the direction. You yeah, know, she said a lot cheaper because all we know is that Sarah Michelle, Michelle Gellar's not doing it. It won't be a remake with her. She's like, well, no offense, love, you're far too old. But <laughs> you know, it will be another Slayer, but it's set in the same world. It won't be a reboot. It will be they'll probably acknowledge what happened before, and it will just carry yeah. on. 100%. Maybe, yeah. It's the best way to do it. Like, Legacy. Like, Creed is... Creed yeah, it's exactly Legacy. Legacy. Mm. It is not a remake of Rocky. It uses... Yeah, it didn't ignore them, yeah. It didn't ignore them. It's the same mm. thing. Mm. Right, and yeah. uh, sequel to Buffy could work in that regard. And Just have James oh, Martin yeah. in it for a little bit. That'd be nice. Yes. <laughs> don't let yes. Josh yes. yes. anywhere near it, though. Oh, mm, bad oh. man. Oh. Anyway, you listen to this yeah, for escapism, so we sound really upbeat. Today. No, this is probably the most energy. Not demonic vampire slay. No, um, <laughs> we have a plan, a layout plan. We're gonna basically because we're not a political thing. Um, Boris, oh, had his we'll try not to be. <laughs> um, and laid out yeah, his exit plan yeah. for um, lockdown. It essentially, starts um, mm-hmm. March the eighth, and it is the first step. There's there's four steps. But there's five dates. Yeah. Um, exactly. Yeah. Like the main things do. that happen are they're paced um, five weeks apart because obviously, as what happened last time, we lowered restrictions, started becoming more normal, and then the infection rate spiked. Bang. And then it was back down again, and then up again, and then down again, and you know, three lockdowns later, it's nearly been a year of this shit. So there's five weeks. So mm. if one step happens and it goes up a bit, there's time to assess and be like let it pander out and see if it will affect and then we can push it back or bring it forward or whatever happens, which is good. No, no, should have no, done but... that the fucking first time, <laughs> but at least this has happened now. Um, the main thing everyone wants to ask, when are we going to be back in the same room? No one really cares, but we just... Oh, no. Ask. It's... No, it's no, George. No, no, don't not play it down. It's the most demanded question. I search, I go on my Facebook feed, and I, I see it every day. <laughs> I see it every day on it's our Facebook on Twitter, page. Isn't it? When are we when back is together? Back yeah. I don't even use Twitter. I don't even use it, and I see it. <laughs> I see it. People send you the printout, like like you get Liam to print it out for you, and he just hands it to you when you see it. Yeah. Come on, look at all these questions. <laughs> no, um, it's the same one like hundreds of times. Yeah, it's just a fucking bot, but um, the same one by MPS5s or all over the place. Um, so, um, oh. schools go back on the 8th of March, um, 29th of March, which is Ruby's birthday. Um, uh, oh, happy birthday. Six, rule of six outside. So, that, you know, yeah. fucking time that to perfection. So, Means I have to, exactly. Means Spring I have time. to buy her a present now, which is... <laughs> um, <laughs> Yay! Yeah, it's outdoors. Um, April the 12th, pubs outside. So as long as it's a pub garden facility, um, gyms, uh, getting a haircut, which mm. I fucking can't wait for. Um, this is this is terrible. I look like I'm wearing Matt's from the time of the doctor. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it looks the same. Like, no, Jamie, your your hairstyle. If I was critiquing you quickly, you look like as if you don't change. Like your sides ain't too long. I your quiff gets longer, eyes. but it don't. <laughs> You've been renewed. Yeah, you're not turning a thousand year old, mate. Don't worry. Mm. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, thank you for that. You always look yeah. on point. So it's no. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Your hair just doesn't yeah. move. Like, it, it's, like, I don't, I, no, don't, I want to know what you're no. doing it. Welcome to Nerd Bible Haircast. <laughs> um, yeah, that'll be the next channel. Uh, that, and then 17th is um, up to 30 outdoors, um, rule of six indoors. At weddings. And, I can yeah. go back in my home and you can be there and we can be in the same. So, <laughs> fingers crossed. Yeah. The episode. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, what one? Yeah, what one? I can't, I can't count. So it'd be what, 19th of May? That would be... It'd be yes. That'd be the one that we'd be able to record. 194 or 5? I can't... What's this one? I can't remember the number of this one. I don't know. Maybe, well, no, what number are we on? Be, so this is 130-something, so we've got about... Oh, I would have said 180. <laughs> we're like 50 episodes later. Um, we're in another well, year. Let's not come back in the room for a year, folks, just to be safe. <laughs> Um, Just give me the calendar warning now. It would be about five weeks before our third birthday, I think. Yes. About something like that. Yeah. So we'd actually yeah. have a third yeah. anniversary special together, which would be nice. Yeah. Yes. We did. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's a fuck. Why did we? Yeah. Because I too really the first time because we were in lockdown. So then. Like we didn't have this set up, would you? We've got better at. I mean, apologies for people that have moved. Yeah. More people have joined, mainly for the fact that we give it away a PlayStation or Xbox voucher. But fuck it, I'll take it. I'll take the fucking traffic. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh wait, we need to create some mayhem, mayhem on the internet. This yeah, small portion of the internet. We will. Um, mm. But first, Connor, after. Well, yes, mate. <laughs> Should we talk about this? <laughs> Iran. Um. We'll do yes. Obviously do our weekly <laughs> roundup of Wonder Vision, and um, if you guys are interested, um, drop in the comments because um, we we're going to do the live stream for the finale of Wonder Vision next Friday, which is the Wonder Vision. The... Uh, 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 where are we? The fifth, the fifth of March. Fifth of March, isn't it? Yeah. That's the finale. Fifth of March. I'm yeah. Word for it, mate. I yeah, I've got a date in my head here. Fifth of March, I'm sure. Um, yeah, yes, which is good because I'm on a late this Friday, so I wouldn't have been able to do it if the finale was this week. So that's good. Oh, thank God! I no, thank God! At, I finish at four on Friday. So what about six? Uh, I finish. I'll probably either finish at five or six. But as soon as I get indoors, then yeah, I won't do nothing. I'll literally go in, get changed, and just go out. So if you want to join us for a live group. stream mm. of a watch along of yes. the Wonder Vision season finale. Um, Twitch.tv yeah, slash please. Sheep, and we'll uh, do it on there if anyone wants to join in with us. We obviously won't have the volume too loud because uh, um, I don't think we can afford lawyers for Disney yet. So it's... We'll see how it goes. Um, no. And if that goes well, we'll do it for all six weeks of Falcon and Soldier. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. There ain't nothing going on. No. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll do yeah, so. We'll do our roundup of one division at the end, like we normally do. Um, we'll just quickly through, breeze through some stuff. Um, it's one of those weeks again, like a lot happened, but not a lot happened. Uh, Umbrella Academy season no. three started filming. We got a picture from Elliot Page's Instagram as he uh, mm. returned to the set. Um, anyone that's confused, um, we didn't really um, touch on it, did we? Um, that um, Elliot Page came out as. A, that he'd like transition uh, uh, trans, thought, like, yeah. thought that formerly the actress Ellen Page was now Elliot Page so in future if there's any time that we've referred to him as her is either as... is before the announcement of like when that but if we ever go back and talk about X-Men stuff obviously Kitty Pride the character is um, a she in terms of her gender in those films um Elliot Page is... And, it, and if we ever talk about... Uh, it, oh, sorry, if we ever talk about him in the future and I refer to him as Ellen, it's just because I before all you know, before he came out, it's just it sort of rolls off the tongue. I, I haven't personally got quite used to Elliot Page. Uh, Ellen Page just sort of seems to roll off the tongue easier. Because he was so out for I, so long, but now, yeah. you know, this is... Yes, yeah. 
it's nice for him to feel comfortable and the fact that they're like Umbrella Academy are pushing his character more towards being like gender fluid and non-binary which is nice for them to accommodate it and not be like oh like shooing him out the door like some unfortunately some studios would do which is nice so yeah um yeah so he shared a picture of just um I don't know what they call you know the chairs the foldy ones with the like thing at the back and it just had the picture of the umbrella oh, okay. yeah. in gold with a little three next to it uh excited because we don't really oh. like umbrella academy right yeah, oh, no, it was cool season. Um, I liked season two because just that ending of the first with the whole time travel thing, and then yeah, you know, it's essentially Avengers Endgame but spread as a series. That's season two. I just don't know. I enjoyed season two. I look forward to it. I did like the first one as so. well. Yeah, um, yeah. There's a cliffhanger in that ending regarding the invisible character, um, Ben, like number six. I just, I don't know. I want to see where they go because it ends up with them in that alternate reality. Where they're not the Umbrella Academy, it's the some other academy, and I really want to see where they go with that. So, hmm. we yeah. will see whenever, whenever that will come out. Gets, <laughs> whenever that look comes out, forward to that. Um, the slowest movie to have a production cycle, The Flash. Ironic, oh, it's a speedster. Still... Um, they finally began filming. There was oh. a set photo shared by the producer. The first set photo of the principal. Oh, Trump really? Finally begins. Um, I'm not. Oh, right. I didn't breath. know that. For it just because no, no, we've been hurt too many times by the no. flash. We really have. Thank God for Grant Gustin. Well, Thank yeah. you, Grant. We might, we, we might well be getting Michael Keaton back as Batman, but uh, wh- why did it cast everything? It will be a movie that no <laughs> doubt will yeah. be the middle to okay tier of DCEU movies. It's not going to be up there with Shazam. Um, half of Aquaman, no, to pray and no, 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 no. minutes of Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, Only no, I don't. I'm hoping like we're good at Lewis. best. And then it's like, yeah, exactly. What is it? What is that movie? Mm. Oh, um, I need to rewatch it. I need to get Wonder Woman eighty four out of the way. I need to get that out of the way. Man, not out of the way. Enjoy it and savor it if you can, because not a lot of people did for some reason. Um, <laughs> there's an. 4K remaster of um, Batman v Superman coming to <coughs> um, Blu-ray in wake of the whole, um, you know, excitement and buzz for Zack Snyder's Justice League cut. But it's the IMAX edition, isn't it? It's the IMAX. Yeah, 4K thing, IMAX remaster mm. repackage of Batman v Superman. Um, yeah, yeah, Snyder in the cut of Batman v Superman. Unanimously agree that we don't really care. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, agreed. I don't care about BVS. I do not care about BVVS. Uh, Sasha Cow has been cast as Supergirl in the Flash movie, so we have our live action. Um, what's her what's her alien name? Oh, uh, Kara. Kara. Kara Zor. Yeah, Kara Zor El. Kara Zor El. Yeah, Kara Zor El. Yeah. Say that with confidence. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> she is Supergirl, which is that's cool. We're getting live action Supergirl in the films. Do it. Um, yeah. I'm trying yes. to just skirt through because not a lot of these are big things. Uh, we got a poster no. for the live action uh, Adam's Family Netflix series, um, which is Tim Burton's TV directorial oh, really? debut. Yep, we got a first look at it, uh, Wednesday Adams. It's animated. Wednesday? Oh, lovely. Uh, oh, okay. Coming soon to yeah. Netflix, so we look forward to Is that. it bad I haven't seen the Adam's Family? Any of them. It's not, I haven't seen any of them. It's not bad. Like, if you can catch them, I would. They're enjoyable. They're fun. The animated one with Oscar Isaac is like all these people that voiced these characters could have played them in live action. <laughs> like, oh, right, okay. Yeah. Oscar <laughs> okay. Isaac yeah. As, um, what's his name? Gomez. Yeah. Gomez Adams. Yeah. Sorry. I just had a bit of a <laughs> blankety blank moment. Um, do, 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 trying to keep all the Marvel stuff in one place because we do that quite a bit. Edgar Wright's directing the Running Man remake. Yeah, I mean that movie's going to get a lot more traction now because that's that was an Arnold movie back Damn. in the eighties or early nineties, but based on the Stephen King book, which I didn't know. Based on Stephen yeah. King. Stephen um, King's everywhere. Like you said, oh, Stephen. 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 <laughs> Stephen. This Stephen, is Stephen can you hear me? Stephen, can you hear me? it's Clint Fandango. Yes, Kim Van Dango, yes, can you hear me, Stephen? Oh man, did you see Matt Berry shared a picture of um? So you know the um, the intro for Toast, and you see him like with the feather and like the skull, and he's like that. 
Like it's in the opening titles, like one of the it. Like it's that, but edited onto the Hollywood sign. Because obviously um, <laughs> we're getting we're getting a new series of Toast in London on BBC One, and it's called Toast yes. in America, and I fucking can't wait. <laughs> yes. Oh, great. No, brilliant. No um, that's quite good. We mentioned Matt. But it's quite good. We mentioned Matt Berry because I started last night um, Disenchantment on Netflix. Yes, that's been going, and he's the voice man. of. Prince Merkinman! Prince Merkinman! I just don't know why he's... Oh my god, he's so cool. But if I think he's... a dream guest at this point is Matt Berry for this podcast. Matt Berry. I'm like, oh, sod it, him for WandaVision. If he appears as a Magneto, oh, oh I'll my... be done. Can, can oh, as Mephisto! Ma- as Mephisto! <laughs> oh, he'd be like really fun, campy, almost like a John Nathan Turner Doctor Who villain, Mephisto. <laughs> Stop now, Wanda! Yes. <laughs> You thought you could get past me? I'm the first girl. Conjuring all I want your children. I want your children. Wanted you to give access to the multiverse. God, toast. I feel like we should mm. do a full-on Toast of London episode one day. Like that could. Why not? That Why could not? be a fucking full thing. Yeah, so we actually getting it. Like full half hour, so no ad breaks. So we're getting a full half hour of Toast of London. No, good, TV. good. Because you don't get that switch anymore, do you? Like from one channel to the other, unless you bake off and you want more money. Yeah, Matt Berry for good series on all four. Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Okay. Okay. All four. Yeah. Okay. Stylized as also. Yep. So just all four. Um, Malcolm in the Middle. Three episodes in of Malcolm in the Middle. Yeah, I can't believe that's on there as well. That's madness. Oh, all of them, all seven or eight seasons, all of the episodes are just on there. Malcolm in the Middle is great. So I just I'm, thought I'd have a look I've at it. I've watched that in years. I'm it is. Watch that. That's a good, a good yeah. shout, my friend. Yeah, so it's stylizing the fact that the author, Garth <laughs> Marenghi, is like talking about, it's like mockumentary style, this show that he made in the 80s. Um, so he talks to the okay. camera, but also they show the episode they filmed and then they talk over it. Richard Iowardi's in it. Um, Matt Berry. It's just, it's fucking phenomenal. And Noel Fielding's in it as a swamp monster that sings. Because why not? <laughs> oh, I've, got, I've got my interest. Speaking my interest. of swamp monsters that sing, um, Star Wars Rebels of Cast <laughs> Aladdin's Mina Masood as Ezra Bridger in the Ahsoka series. Well, the guy needed a job, so it's kind of good. Harsh, but I'm pretty true. sure it was him yeah. that said he needed a job. No, no, it wasn't it he who said, like, he, he, he sent yeah, doing yeah. a landing, he couldn't found anything, yeah, so he kind of needed to Take a man while he's down. <laughs> okay, just on back Exactly. Uh, yeah. Are we saying fuck it? I don't know. Um, yeah, he'd be good, I think he'd be really good as Ezra Bridger, it'd be nice to see him mm. get something else. I really. could actually visualise it. Yeah. I could actually see it. He was decent in Aladdin, if you give him more to do... We mm. give him a decent script. I think he could surprise us. And I'd like me and Masood to succeed. Do succeed. more, yeah. Because he seemed like a really nice bloke. To, to grow and inspire millions around the world. No, if he, if he turns out to be a good Ezra, or if we ever get Ezra on screen, and yes, you know, you've made it, at least in a load of fans' eyes, you've made it as an actor. If you, could, if you can be a character that hasn't been done before on screen, you'll you know, you've up. made it. Fuck up, Glenn Fandango. You've made up name. <laughs> Did you watch um, the first trailer for Cruella? The Emma Stone no, I didn't. No, origin I didn't. story that was cut up to look <clears> like it was the Joker movie starring Joaquin Phoenix. Someone said, like, I, Yeah, I saw people put an audio over it. Away from being mm. the Joker movie. Oh, great. But Disney are doing it, so. Mm. Mm. Um, like, it's, no, all right. On paper, it's. Yeah. I don't see why not. Yeah. But also, it's like, it's fucking bold. Like, really bold. Yeah, well, yeah. Because I think... I might, the thing with I might quickly look at it now. Is, like with mm. Maleficent, like, it's an interesting story, but it also gets <coughs> away from what makes them a compelling villain. Is if you're giving everything... It's like with anything. If you don't know what it is, like, and then they're suddenly telling you everything about them and it's a mysterious character. It's why a lot of... You lose the appeal. It's like, mm. it's why, sorry, you sorry, lose the appeal. Why a lot of Doctor Who doesn't need to fucking... Don't reveal anything about her story and where she comes from. 
Like, give us, like, mysteries and make us think, oh, we learned this bit and this bit. Never give us the full answers to any character. Do, do a WandaVision. Do a WandaVision. Let us keep guessing every week. Let us find little snippets of sprinkles. And then when we get sprinkled, we then question what the sprinkle was. Like, we question every second of it. I can't believe <laughs> like, we do that. that as well. I can't believe we predicted what happened in WandaVision. But we'll get into that in just a minute. But, yeah. I say, did we? <laughs> Did we? We talked. We talked about a certain. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. If you're talking, yeah. If you're t- okay, yeah. yeah. Ca- mm, character. Yeah, terms, I think I get this. What actually happens overall? We still have no fucking clue. But in terms of the character, um, I'm glad we were right. Yeah. <coughs> Reed Richards. <laughs> Reed Richards. Oh, can you imagine? Have you seen the thing that like? In, um, imagine if Reed Richards had turned up, but it was actually Miles Teller. <laughs> oh no! No, you sent me that. Oh no! That would have been a bigger troll. <laughs> that would have been such a troll. Oh, no. He even crashed Disney Plus servers. I think people are up at midnight trying to watch episode 7, and it was the first time the app crashed. <laughs> it no. broke Disney. They are just ruling the world with money, aren't they? Um, we're on to the Marvel the section. Stop, yeah. um, just a quick... So we'll do some quick ones and then go into a few long ones and hit the WandaVision stuff. Uh, Punisher and Jessica Jones are <coughs> reverted back, so they're con- they were the last ones. Two, yeah. They were the last two to air, and they were the last two, I think, to get back the licensing. Yeah. So I think, yeah. Anyone who's not sure of the deal, um, Marvel and Netflix had an agreement, and then there had to be two years between the end of those versions of the shows on Netflix before Marvel then regained mm. sole rights to make other versions of them, which is why, effectively, they cancelled all of them around the same time. It was... Yeah. Fist, yeah. Um, Luke Cage... Then Luke Cage, Daredevil, Daredevil. Then Jesse oh. Jones and Punisher because they still had seasons. Like well, Jesse Jones season three went out last. She was the last one. Punisher went out just yeah, before. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And so then, yeah, then yeah, that's right. So that's all right. of them are back at Netflix now. All all of the defenders, meaning that they could. It would be kind of awkward if they um if they got rid of four of them and they only kept one show. Like if Netflix can go back and think, oh, you know what, bollocks, we actually could have kept the show. Do you think that well, you know, they would have kept Daredevil and then we would have got everyone else? Or mm-hmm. you know, how do you think it would have gone? If they um, could have chose to keep one. It's weird, because I hope... I hope they go on there... Cause, in, like, the star section, maybe. Like, put um, the Netflix shows there. That would be mm. really good to have them all in one place instead of... Because eventually they'll come off Netflix. I, I'm thinking about... Three, yeah, years one time. day. Yeah. And if there's... I would yeah. see out the Blu-rays, but it'd be nice if they did sort of, like, a complete edition of all of them. Like, exactly, because they released... They released, I think, up to, the, I mean, Jessica Jones season... Oh, no, Daredevil season two, and then they just stopped. They just stopped. No, like, there was... There was... Um, Luke Cage and Iron Fist season one. Um, they got up to... And they never did Defenders, I don't think. Or they haven't. Then they, 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 they stopped, yeah. There's no Punishers out mm. anywhere. Um, no, I assume no. that now Disney have rights that they'll probably... Now they own that. They could just push that out. And do Crank it, it out. I'm mm. still waiting for if they just feel like, oh yeah, we filmed Daredevil season four, like four, <laughs> and it's out next week. It's out. <laughs> it's and, out next um, week. It's actually out tomorrow on Disney Plus, and we just didn't tell anyone because the rights are back with us. Oh, that'd be cool. So it's nice to know that they. I've been sick. Now they have every character back under their control, essentially, uh, or sole control. Yes. Apart from legally, and... let's just say they've got legal control of the characters. Oh, yeah, Sony's a whole other ball game. Sony's a whole other ball game. It's a whole other ball game. Apparently, they really wants, wants to play Spider Woman in a Marvel and Sony Spider Verse. Um, she the... hasn't been done in live action, so I mean, you know, we can't compare. Mm. Well, I'd, <laughs> I'd like. Yeah, I don't I'd think like she's ever been done in live action. I'd, I'd like Daisy Ridley to be in a film franchise where they give her more stuff to do. Yes, no, agreed. I just want it's more Daisy. Choice. I just want more Daisy. I'd, I'd go, in mm. fact, I'd go for this. So, with um, everyone talking about Fantastic Four now, because obviously rumours are in One Division and um, like the original Tim Story version, like I think it was its 16th anniversary <coughs> or something like that. Um, they were rumouring that All right, okay. Jennifer Lawrence as Invisible Woman. In the Fantastic Four reboot, to which I say no, because she didn't yeah, do shit for no. those X-Men movies. No. Days of Future Past is the last no. time she looks like she cares, so no. <clears throat> um, yeah. You, do you agree? 
Well, pretty much. Yeah. So, she, so X Men. That was the last time. The future past is the last fair. time she cared. And then, and then she had an affair with Darren Aronofsky, and then that was it. And she's kind of disappeared from the line. Like, hey, um, at, the, at the moment, anyway. <laughs> at the moment. There we go. Um, Marvel's Blade reboot will apparently get a Wesley Snipes cameo only under the right circumstances, which would be nice in terms of if we got a cameo oh, of him in it to mm. be like, look, you paved the way for us. Thank you for saving Marvel. Here's the tip of the hat, and let's carry on. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, do you think they'll do the blade? Is it the blade two or three ending where you see the in the one of the deleted endings or deleted thing, but you see like another vampire, which I think was implied to be Morbius or Dracula? Maybe. Do you think they'll do that eventually? Maybe you know. I would don't Is see why. I don't see why not because it would make quite a bit of money. Mm. Because I, I really am looking yeah. forward to Blade of Mahershala Ali. I really fucking am. I'm so excited. Um. Do you know what I am really excited for? Danny Elfman of Spider-Man <clears throat> and Batman Returns. Yes. Oh, he's, composing the, he's composing the score for Doctor, Doctor Strange, Strange isn't he? Or Madness. is it Spider-Man? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Yes. I'm looking forward to yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, great. Let's We're going to get the old thing tune re- remastered and re-orchestrated. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Is Batman in it? Is Michael Keaton playing Batman? <laughs> He was Batman all along <laughs> in the MCU. No, Michael Keaton as Spider Man. Michael Keaton. He was wrong, and then he was Spider Man. <laughs> oh no! It's King Shark. It's King the Shark, ultimate crossover. <laughs> it's um, King Shark. I, yeah. Um, oh. Great music. Um, the scores of the Raimi Spider Man films mm. and um, Batman Returns are fantastic. Epic. Like that Batman Triumphant March is. One of the most iconic things iconic. in one of the most iconic Ever. pieces in I've ever heard. Um, I look mm. forward to it, and it gives um, more credence to the fact that it's <clears> being made by a Spider Man director and it's linking into Spider Man, which you've got a bit to talk It's about. acknowledging the past. It's acknowledging the past. So, yeah, do it. I'm, I'm glad. looking to the future. Good on, um, Good on you, Mr. Elfman. Batchok Zilly Pear will return in Falcon and Winter Soldier. <clears> um. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. That's cool, because he was good, and it was really funny when he got kicked in the face by Captain America. Personal highlight, personal highlight. That was, yes. Um, uh, done that, we'll talk about that in the, in the episode bit. Um, Florence, Pugh is a, Florence Pugh has arrived in Atlanta, seemingly to film her scenes for the Hawkeye Disney Plus series. Oh, yeah. Which is a nice little tie-in, uh-huh. a bit of Black Widow and Hawkeye action, albeit the legacy ones in this um it's that's um, yes things happen maybe a lot maybe that's how um black widow the movie will tie into the whole future maybe it'll just set up hawkeye series maybe i don't know maybe that would be might have a larger role nice little treat wouldn't it if it was like oh and Mm. these two link you think think they were important yeah the the prequel the prequel that should have been made years ago is now going to be relevant to one of the lesser anticipated shows I'd say in all the Disney Plus lineup but if they get Hawkeye right and then at least Hawkeye can go with a send off Jeremy Renner can go with a send off mm. hopefully but hopefully we won't know till December this year or early yeah. 2022 at best hopefully yeah, at this rate right. I'm, I'm I'm going for <clears throat> a one division release like slate for kind of, yeah yeah 2022 that's what I'm thinking and finally before we get into one division um, we got trolled last night by um, three of the cast members of Spider-Man. Oh, what is the name of this film? Kevin Feige. <laughs> oh no! Oh, so it was um, you. Did you send me the first? One? You sent me the first one, didn't you? Because I was thinking that can't be the actual title. Surely, <laughs> surely. Think, did you? Did I? I can't remember where. Let me just check because it was Instagram, darling. Um, it was. E- it was either me or you that did it. I was like, no way, this can't be it. You sent it to me. And then you sent me the... So, oh, um, okay. last night, Tom Holland put on Instagram a post of... Um, I'm so excited to announce the new title of the Spider-Man movie. Can't wait to see all, what we've been working on and up to. Love from Atlanta. And it was <coughs> still of the free um, FOS, the Friends of Spider-Man. you got Peter, um, MJ and Ned um, in Tom's one looking up at something <coughs> just to the right of shot. Um, shadowy, murky, gloomy. Um, with the gr- with a green mm. Spider Man font, um, called Spider Man Phone Home. Yeah. Um, I just, you know, I just, I just oh. quick, quickly fucking yeah. 
Mm. So which we were like, yeah, um, what's that? And we are just like playing about the title and whether it links to the whole thing with the multiverse <laughs> and Doctor, because we know Doctor Strange is in it and it links from WandaVision, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, and obviously the rumours of, you know, there's more than one. Is there a multiverse and loads of Spider-Man? Ooh. Ooh. Until Ooh. Jacob Batalon Until, himself. Until, yes. Um, we're so excited to the title of our new movie. Mr. Spider-Man Batalon. Spider-Man's a big reveal, also a big exclusive still for the movie. So a difference still with the, the three of them. <coughs> and similarly lit and... Uh, can it, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here coughing, ignore me. Ignore me. I'm here coughing. A silver fox with a sort of blue backlight <laughs> and a Spider Man home wrecker. To which we were like, hang on, they're just trolling us now. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. If that was the title, I was fine with that. To then, Zendaya put up in a purpley font <clears> with um, a bit of a blue backlit to it um, Spider Man home slice. <laughs> so they're basically just trolling us. Home slice. We, we know, they know that we're just waiting. For this, but does that possibly mean a re- announcement coming soon? Like, will they show off something regarding the so movie? It's due out December, right? I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if we got yeah. a teaser trailer next month. Yeah, or something coming very soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like a little thing, a bit, a little exclusive look, and then at the end of that, I reckon at the end of the first trailer is when they'll reveal if or Alfred Molina will get a Doc Ock tentacle. Yeah. Um, yeah, but Doc out of those, mm. it's funny that it's going to obviously be known as the Spider-Man Home Trilogy. Um, out of those, yeah, out of those titles, I think it's quite ironic because I think if you're doing a multiverse crossing thing, Far From Home would have been a better title for this one. Yeah, that would have been great. Yeah, Far From Home would have been so much more appropriate. Yeah, yeah, would been great. Debated on Twitter, are they? You're thinking of them as movie titles? <laughs> are they? giving clues to chapter titles and, like, the three-act structure within the movie. Yeah. Yeah. But of, like, in a different home, way. Yeah. So, Homecoming, Far From Home, and then whatever the... Homies. No, like, the three... We like the homies. Three fake, the three fake ones. Oh. They're saying, are they, in terms of, like, Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, in this third Spider-Man film? Oh. Oh, that would be cool, then. Yeah, that would work. Like, is that the teaser? But, um... And someone also said because of the different colours of the Spider-Man font, because the, the font stayed. It was sort the of a, it was a darker colour for home, like far from home to homecoming, wasn't it? It was like you had the orangey, like sort of like webbing sort of texture, like on the inside, like embossed, out, like right? yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're right. Someone yeah, said yeah, the yeah, colours yeah. of that representative of the three villains that are. Two confirmed, one rumored to return. The green one being the Green Goblin, the um, green yeah, one or, or Scorpion. Scorpion. Mm, Scorpion was teased, you know. Mm, I'd love to see Scorpion done right. In a yeah, he was actually movie. in Far. Uh, uh, he was in Homecoming. What, Homecoming. That's the one. Rumor Homecoming. Is if, you know yeah. who he is. if I know who he was, he'd be dead already. Nice little bit of character development. And, um, That'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. Um, purple one being. Purple one being Electro? Yeah, it would be... Would the purple yeah. one be Electro, or would the metal grey one be Electro? Because I think the metal one would be Doc Ock, wouldn't it? Possibly. Yeah, that's what I'd like to think. Uh, Doc Ock was never pur- uh, purple. Yeah. Unless purple is Kang the Conqueror. Oh, that's a random <laughs> twist. <laughs> that might be a bit of an overload. <laughs> it might be. Um... <laughs> Are you excited <laughs> that we got... I was, like, I was really happy. I was like, ah, uh, we got trolled, but fucking give us something, please. <laughs> please. Yeah, exactly. Give us an update. Mm. No, I saw Phone Home and I was like, okay, let's just set all oh, for 10 minutes was, and surely this is not real. For me, it was like, <laughs> I was okay, okay with it, but... It's okay, but I weren't like, oh my God. It's just because it's, it's Peter Parker. And he said he's a fan of movies and he's like, oh, E.T. Phone Home. It's like, I got it, but it's just that oh. You could have done better. Luckily, that ain't the real thing. So I'm quite happy that it's not that, personally. Imagine if all three of the title. Mm. Phone, home wrecker slice. <laughs> <laughs> or the way home. home like phone, home wrecker The way Spider-Man home. Far, far home. way home. The long way home. The yeah, long way, way home. Clara, the long way around. Mm. Um, yeah, so that was that. Should we get into WandaVision? Episode 7 of 9. Not an hour long. Oh, of nine. Minutes. 
No, Kevin Feige lied to us. <laughs> Kevin Feige lied. The yeah, it was an account that was supposedly Kevin. It was an account supposedly labelled Kevin Feige, but when you actually clicked on the link to the bio, it took you to nothing. So from then, it was just kind of kind of a bit sus. It weren't Kevin Feige's actual account. Ah, it someone so called it wasn't Feige. you. And thought it'd be clever. <laughs> they thought it'd be a bit clever up here. Yeah. Susan, so, and I. I yes, it was William Hartnell that actually um, lied to us in the past. Was John Hurt? We were along. No, 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 steady on, chap. I never said that there would be a how long. Um, this was great. Do you want to run um, through um, spoilers, obviously, but if you haven't watched this show by now, what are you doing with your life going to Disney Plus, please? Yeah, well, where have you actually been? Not spoilers, but if they want oh, not yet. Please, drop Yeah, feel free. Um... Today's video is sponsored to you by Star, the brand new channel <laughs> on Disney Plus. <laughs> um, shout out to LH Clothing, the link was in the last video. Um, use the code GW30 for 30% off the checkout for your clothes. There you go, there's, there's an ad read. Really comfortable grey tracksuit. Clothes. Um, anyway. Okay, very comfortable. Mm -hmm. well, um, yeah? Run us through con. So, spoilers if you haven't seen episode 7 of WandaVision. <clears> nah. I'll just give a brief recap to where he got left off. So essentially, Wanda is looking very much more villainous as the show has gone on. Um, she even references, in, like during this episode, like she even points out she might be the villain already, which is like a cheeky almost wink to the camera, saying like, oh, I might be bad. But as we find out, there's a bit more to the case. Oh, yes. Um, essentially, Wanda used her magical powers and expanded the hex and basically swallowed all of Westview um, to the fact that it's only Haywood, Monica, and Jimmy. I was calling Randall Park. Jimmy are the only ones outside the hex, while Darcy was trapped to a car, and all the sword are a circus now. They're a circus in the town, outside the town of Westview. And that's where we begin with Vision, sort of five minutes, for him, must be like, what, five minutes later from that ending, awake, and he, basically, he's amongst the circus animals and clowns and freaks, and the showmaster bloke um, basically goes up to him and says, "Oh, you're you're you're, you're our new act. You know, where have you been?" Da, 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 da. And Vision's just uh, not in character, of course, just being like, "Oh, uh, oh I haven't been here. Like, where am I? Oh, where's where's my darling Wanda?" Oh. Um, and instead, she finds Darcy, who this time is in character, but unfortunately, <laughs> I wish she was because she used to be in a sitcom back in the day. Two um, girls. I can't remember which one. Two broke girls, yes, and where she was a waitress. And if that happened, that would have been a lot more fascinating than what we actually got. But I still enjoyed what we got with her. Um, she essentially is in character as part of the circus as well. She's like the like the you know the lock artist or whatever. She's basically locked herself in loads of she yeah she can't she's locked herself and she escapes from locks. She, that's her magic trick, circus act or whatever. Um, albeit for five minutes because Vision says something corny, touches her head, blah, 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 and becomes free. Uh, Darcy then recalls the vision and sort of explains to him, like, you know, what's happened over the last week of watching the TV for them as well, not just us. Um, and they see an ice cream truck and they proceed to escape. Circus Master's like, oh no, where are you going, Jolly Old Chum? You're up, to, you're, you're up now. Where do you think you're going? Oh, no, no, sorry, love. We're up for, you know, we're, we're, we've got a prior engagement or something Vision says, almost word to word. Um, yeah, basically, they escape their ice cream truck, and then that's it for the circus. Uh, Darcy, like, punches the guy in the face, showing off of her, you know, maybe she's affected by the hex, maybe she's got some <laughs> extraordinary strength, who knows. Um, and that's the first thing, they've gone. They're in their ice cream truck for most of the episode, and, they, and then we don't family. see them until later Moving on. down to the logo. Yeah. And they're talking to camera. Yeah, the intro. Um, mm. Office style as well, with the whole looking to camera. Like, your thing, like, the picture of Vision. Like giving like the dead eye Jim stare when he's in the van, or when he's interviewing, you can see the fucking yeah. microphone clip to the top bit that goes into his shoulder pads for the cape. Like there's just the fucking microphone. Clip. Like, what yeah, are you that's doing great. Here? Cause the whole yeah, no, I, I love. <laughs> the whole oh, thing is sorry, he's, trying what? To get, he's trying to get home, isn't he? And he and he believes that something yeah. like Wanda or something is trying to stop him from getting home because the boys are asking where they're. Wanda Vision far from home. Far from home, one division. Far from home. Yes. Yeah, um, sorry. So yeah. Carry on. Um, I, I no, that wasn't the beginning. I think it, it didn't. It begin with Mon um, Wanda in bed, being a you know she's basically it, it's the equivalent of her on a night out. She's just knackered. She, she wants a day, sort of quarantining herself, just a day to herself because she's just knackered 
from the hex. Don't quite know why just yet, but that's I'm assuming she's just knackered. Um, and the kids are playing their games downstairs and acting like typical kids. And Where all of a sudden, their Pietro? game controllers. Well, that's another question. Where was Pietro? <laughs> um, um, I was expecting to turn up a lot earlier. Um, their game controllers are freaking out. They're playing like the Atari 2600 and it turns into an Xbox and N64. A game of Uno. There's multiple seizures throughout this reality. Wanda goes downstairs, makes up. herself some breakfast. Her milk bottle goes to like 1950s to a modern milk bottle. Um, there's also, she takes a tablet. She takes a tablet, which I'll get onto later on as well, because that could be important. And might explain the ending a bit more too. Um, but I'll leave that for them. Um, but yeah, she just don't want to do nothing. She, like you say, she's doing the modern family talking to the camera and she's just like, oh, it's just the case of the Mondays, am I right? <laughs> one line from the trailer I had that in my head for weeks. Um, she's just chatting to the camera the whole time, just not wanting to do anything. She's just in her dressing gown, not being magical witch lady. Um, even though as the episode basically goes on, she's just in her room and she, like you say, the reality is just breaking apart. Um, the furniture keeps changing, pictures on the wall keep changing, the goose from episode 3 temporarily comes back uh, as well, and sort of jump scares her a little bit. Um, the wallpaper's rolling out. Um, so she's just, kind of, she's just kind of losing it, to the point where Agnes, our favourite character Agnes, turns up, and yeah, yeah, she's obviously practising Doctor Strange for her upcoming role in Doctor Strange 2. Um, no, our favourite neighbour, friendly neighbourhood neighbour, friend, friendly neighbourhood neighbour. <laughs> All right. Friendly neighborhood neighbor Agnes turns up and basically just says, oh, I'll take care of your kids. You know, stay with me. I'm not your suspicious neighbor. I don't know why I'm in so involved in this show that you've clearly created. I'll look after your kids, love. Don't worry. Um, so then they leave the house. But then we sort of intercut with Sword, who are now eight miles away from the hex and from a distance. The hex itself is a shape of a hex. Which is odd. It's not a big round dome. It's it's kind of a shape of a hex. It's not a circular dome. Yeah. It's kind of different. It's how they get which is interesting. Called the um, hex bolts, which they are in the comics. Oh really? Oh, okay. Because that's how magic is hex bolts. Um. <clears throat> uh, no, because I keep seeing so many theories about the hex because the hex has been featured in Guardians. Captain Marvel, like, I can send you the video, but the Hex has been all over the MCU, and they're saying that it could be the origin of the universe and the meaning of life and all this shit. It's, it's quite a deep theory, and it could work, but yeah. Um, basically, we get no Haywood, and we get one Haywood scene, and essentially it's just, no you Hayward. know, they're talking about no, Vision or the asset. We be- <laughs> Legit, we get no Haywood this episode. Um, nice. He says something about East Project Cataract, which we don't really know anything about still. Um... Until later on, Monica and uh, Jim, Randall Park, Jim, John Krasinski in this episode, are driving. And they mention Project Cataract in, an e- Cataract in an email. And all we get is that, again, Vision's the target and it's not really Wanda that they're after. Um, and that's kind of that, really. For now, episode eight, you better answer all these questions and give us more Haywood. I think it will. Um, yeah, surely. Um, that's kind of that. So then, okay, Vision... <clears throat> well, actually, no, but, okay, no, before Vision, uh, Monica is outside the dome with uh, Jimmy Woo, and they meet their aerospace engineer, which... Everyone was so if, excited. If anyone's that. been around on the internet, if anyone's been on the internet this week, we keep mentioning this, a certain John Krasinski. So if any of you don't know who he is, he is going to be Reed Richards in the 2024 Phase 4 Fantastic Four movie. Hopefully. At this point. It's got to be confirmed. It's got... No, because if Marvel weren't aware of this whole movement, I think they will be aware <laughs> after this episode. They, they want aware. this guy. <laughs> they want this guy. Mm-hmm. Um, Him and anyway, Aero. aerospace engineer, you know, oh, I've got a friend, da 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 you know, uh, that was like a couple episodes ago. So we cut to this person. I missed the and original time. Bearing in mind that, the script, I, like, I still never clocked it the first time she said it about her aerospace. No, it legit was it legit was one line, and it said she, she, they said it was a he. They said it was a he. Well, it's a shape. So they purposely, they purposely, it's it's the chameleon. Maybe that's the next Spider-Man villain they have. Maybe it's the chameleon. <laughs> it's the Dimitri. Do you want the mood, please? It's the comedian. <laughs> um, no, alas, so, unless John Consistency had a sex change, we got a female major 
major goodner or something random like that. And essentially, she's just like, mm-hmm. really I let me was. give you this. No, I don't think she's a character anyway in the comics. So she isn't anyone that we know of. Um, but alas, here's a machine so that you can carry on with your mission of talking to Wanda to sort of stop all this madness, this multiverse of madness, if you will, hey? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but alas, it's this big dome truck thing, kind of like Mass Effect, like the Mako vehicles, which are used to drive on the space planets. It looks very reminiscent of that. It looks like um, the rover from uh, the Martian it's, that yeah. Matt Damon drives around. That's be- yeah, yeah, the rover, yeah. It looks spacey, yet they're on Earth. Yes, probably it's filmed spacey, in Yorkshire. Spacey, wacy. <laughs> spacey, wacy. Um, they charge up their vehicle, charge up the engine, and basically ram into the dome. But the vehicle kind of gets awkwardly stuck upwards, and then the vehicle is getting rewritten because you know the hex has got the power to the power to rewrite yeah, DNA of not just individuals. Yeah. Uh, Monica gets trapped. Jimmy's like, you know, get out, get out, get out. There's a big dramatic scene. Monica does get out. Um, and the vehicle kind of is ramped upwards. And it kind of does a rocket league and propels it itself away. But then we get a shot of half the vehicle being changed from, like, because of the hex. It's basically from, like, the, the 50s, say. And then we get the other half of the vehicle that wasn't in the hex. That's still no, modern, yeah. which I thought was a cool shot. Especially, like, which the I thought was a very cool shot. The weird sort of almost translucent blurriness of the pixelation from, like, the TV, like, for the edge of, like, where... Yeah, the yeah. Be. That was really nice. Um, and then Monica runs back in because Darcy said she does. Like, she keeps Jimmy DNA she... because it um, like resets you to like um, whatever she wants it to be because she's using her power, which is how they're going to create mutants, I think, and more and more because now she's gone through it for oh. a third time. And what happens, Connor? Three times, yeah. She can see energy. Well, she goes, <laughs> she goes into the Matrix. She almost becomes Neo. Um. Well, I'd say personally, she enters the Nexus. I-, I thought it was the Nexus, which again I'll talk to you later because it comes into Wanda's pill at the beginning. But yeah, so like you say, she has a moment of seeing three or four versions of herself. You get quotes from Captain Marvel and past MCU entries, a Samuel L. Jackson. You get some voiceover lines, very dramatic, slow walk, not like Vision squeezing his essence through the portal. I mean, maybe Vision had to go through that too, but we just didn't see it. Um, but alas, it's this minute-long scene of her just walking, taking one small step of womankind, one walking through <laughs> the portal. <laughs> and she basically gets... <laughs> her eyes go blue, and all the past characters sort of merge into her, and then she bursts her way through, and then we get a closer look at her eyes, and they are glowing blue. But and then through her vision, she looks at... She looks at, like, the pylons and stuff, and she can see, like you say, electric energy, like, cosmic, the cosmic background energy, maybe. Like, she can just see things. She's got, like, infrared vision, essentially, in her eyes. Yeah, because in the comics, she can she's see photon things. or what? What's her other one? Uh, spectrum. Spectrum. Yeah. yeah. So which spectrum. she can see, absorb, and expel energy. Like, she can see different sources of it, can't she? I she think, can yeah. From somewhere. Sort of electro-esque, yeah. but not shit. And not evil. Yeah. <laughs> and not evil. Yeah. Um, and not but Jamie no, Fox um, <laughs> And not ja- That's probably the most important one. Not Jamie Foxx. Um, no, but it's cool because we've been saying that for swell. Like, you know, oh, Monica's DNA is getting changed. What if she gets powers? And then, you know, oh, like in, in the, the comics, comics she does have powers. So we actually saw that. Yeah. Because we've had photos on being given as the nickname for a mother on the wall in Sword. Um, she goes and yeah. confronts Wanda, doesn't she? And... Yes, she gets right to the, the aspect ratio changes to full screen, and you're like, oh, shit's going to get down. Um, yeah, Wanda being Wanda. Well, I'm trying to think if something happens to Wanda before that, but she gets a weird moment again when she's having a breakdown. She's talking to the camera, and then all of a sudden, the voice from the camera then speaks and sort of says, I oh, don't you think you're sort of dessert? Don't you think this is all like, don't you think this is all like you brought this upon yourself kind of talk? Yeah. And then she says, but then she kind of just looks and she's like, but you're not supposed to talk. And then we don't get an answer to that. And then I think that's when Monica comes in, I think. Um, and then she, you see Wanda take, we see Wanda take a pill, which I'll mention later. Uh, she takes a pill and she just immediately remembers how episode three went down. She's like, get out of my house. I've learned a lot of magic. I, you do not know the power of the hexed magic. She's get out of my house, you liar. Ever, isn't she? she has the pill from the commander. Yeah, yeah. 
Yes, which again, it wasn't as disturbing as last week's, but it was still kind of a deep one. Kind of matrixy. It was like, yeah, like loneliness think, and like depression, and if you can't handle it mm. and stuff, it's like, oh, this is. Um... And it was, and it. <clears throat> um, what was the line? It said, like, oh, it said, like, it's basically Nexus pills. It said, when you think the world's about you, or is it, or something like, along those or lines, it? where it's like, oh, or is it? <laughs> yeah, it's just like, ooh. Um, but yeah, I'll get into the, a theory about that at the end. Um, but yeah, so Monica and Vision have their sort of, oh, Monica and Vision, Monica and Wanda have like their standoff. Monica is just there to try to stop, tell her about Haywood's plan and like Haywood is trying to burn down the town of Westview, whereas she knows that Monica isn't the bad guy in this scenario. But again, even in this scene, Wanda comes across as a right bitch. She literally, she literally well, says to the camera like, for it, am I? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not trying to get to that. She tries but to it's like Wanda, to are you trying to play with us or not? She's trying to throw. Yeah, Monica essentially, up, again. And then, like, like Monica then... hits the ground and, like, the burst of energy, and, like, just as they think, oh, we're going to have a superhero showdown, it's like, no. She um she t- she taunts Wanda and she she taunts Wanda and she's sort of like, oh, you know, come on, like, I know you're not a bad person. If you would have, if you were evil, you would have struck me down by now. She could see she's kind of hesitating, and then, like you say, she lifts her up in the air. But then she does a cool. Monica does her first super superhero pose, and that would have been the episode. It's called Breaking the Fourth Wall. That would have been a perfect Ryan Reynolds cameo. Why didn't they do it? They should have just had a voiceover and gone, ah, superhero landing! And it would have been like, what? Really tough on the knees. That would have been a cool cameo. Um, but yeah, so she's definitely a hero now. She's definitely a hero now. Um, but then we see Agnes watching from... Uh, the key to... What, the key to... Interesting. Oh, hundred percent. No, I, I think. Well, mm, sorry. More than it was before. Um, yeah. So, but in the meanwhile, we see Agnes sort of watching them both from the window, and she obviously just being a nosy neighbour ain't gonna let this go to foot. We see other neighbours walking past the town as well, and they're just frozen. Not as in they're just they they're as if they've been programmed to, but they're just kind of watching everything that's going on. We get a shot of Dotty, which I was super excited about in the weeks because I was like, ah, you haven't been seen since episode two. She didn't say anything. She didn't get involved. She was just a red herring. Screw you, Marvel. I, I thought it was her. Or oh, it might be her. Ooh, what am I saying? So maybe. After maybe. They, maybe I'm a liar. After she gets called away, mm, yes. she's in Agnes's house. And then um, wonders where the kids are. Take it. Yes. <laughs> well, well, let's just, let's just say, well, okay, so... Oh, don't, they're in the basement, darling. They're in the basement. That's the line. And in the meanwhile, we get a shot of a bug, or like a dirty bug on a dirty curtain, as if the house hasn't been washed. And we get a, like a rabbit eating rabbit food, which again, the rabbit is a sign for something else I'm going to say in the next two minutes. Bear with me. Um, we get a shot of the basement downstairs, and it looks like an ordinary creepy basement, you know, just, you know stairs and nothing just pitch black but then we go down the stairs and you sort of have to turn around on yourself and all you see is these tree branches and vines and stuff which again sort of gave me the vibes of just like a witch's coven it wasn't exactly a bloody basement i don't know it was like a basement and then had a freaking tardis underneath it was like what's going on here good god but but to note there's another but there's another but there's another door before, that she doesn't look at, but there's another green door shut, which, again, might play into the ending. No. Um, or should I say, post-credit scene. Post-credit scene. But, alas. Um, Wanda just go for a walk, and we get a... Uh, the barrage is leading to this other big room where I don't think we see the floor, but, alas, we see sigils everywhere. There's um, kind of holes, which people speculated there's pass to the multiverse in them we see a couple of locked cabinets there's a book with like an orange glow which again that could be another thing that no, other fans have kind of pointed book. out which i'll get to in a minute well exactly it has to be dr strange does that mean he's the mystery camera <laughs> ah wonder uh, yeah agnes comes around the corner and basically says like uh wonder you're not the only person with magical powers aren't you yeah i mean it is i agatha harkness um, oh, and then she flicks it. her fingers, locks the door. <laughs> like we've all said from week one. And then she gets put under hallucination in a similar way to Tony. She gets purple eyes. Yeah. Yeah, which was another cool nod, yeah. She gets purple eyes, so we know she's under Agnes' control. And then we get the cool and then we get the coolest song out of the, all the episodes. 
It was Agatha all along. <laughs> it's the coolest song. You've seen her effect on previous episodes with like, the magic show in episode two. Um, turning up in episode one for the dinner. Um, Quicksilver. Yes. She brings Quicksilver. Yes, so she Supposedly. So she obviously doesn't know what Quicksilver looks like, but has just made an amalgamation. No. Plucked Turns him. out Evan Peters was probably stunt casting. But if he no. was eventually coming, it yeah. would be nice. So, I don't know. But that's really cool that it was Agatha Harkness all along. And we've got two episodes left and we still And she killed Sparky. And I killed Sparky. And she killed Sparky. <laughs> I like, you know, the bit in the car, yeah. the Halloween one, where like Vision's doing all the stuff. And like, it's a shot, I think, where you just see him in the, sh- in the actual episode. So then you see the whole car, like, see her, and she's like fiddling about and looking in the mirror and stuff and just pissing about in the car until like, and then it comes back to her and then she's just. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I did think that shot was suspicious. I was like, "Why are we just looking at Vision outside the car?" But yeah, no, that that was why. That was why. So she's the. Big but character. yeah, it was Agatha all along. It was Ag- and Catherine Hans well, sings it, which is great. Yeah. She's like, yeah, it's her song. Well. Yeah, it's incredible. And we mm, got Affleck, already like you said, because they scene. released. Well, they, I was so just gonna point. They released the soundtrack to each. They they released the soundtrack to each episode like a week. Basically every Friday, by the time a new instalment comes out. But this is after two or three days of it airing, and they wanted to get this song out. I mean, I don't blame you, Catherine, you can sing. Um, but alas, I just thought it was cool, because, I, I, again, I've listened to this song maybe like 200 times already. I just <laughs> It's an addictive, catchy little song. Um, but alas, we get the usual, please stand by. And, and like, no, that's the last moment you want to do. You don't want to stand by. You've just seen the big baddie being revealed, and, you know, wanders under the possession. Um, we don't want to stand by. So I was, we sit in there as usual, credit to the credits, and alas, we get another, our first scene after the credits, post credit, um, where it's Monica after. Four. Exactly, yeah, all phase four, Jesus, yeah. Um, we get Monica who didn't quite. Agnes previous after the Wanda uh, Monica standoff, Agnes basically intervenes and sort of tells her to leave. Essentially, you know, you're Rose you're welcome, you know, bog off. Essentially, but as we learn, Monica does not bog off. She does the heroic thing of finding the house and she finds like this trap door kind of thing, like, you know, basically another door. She opens it up and I thought it was just her her eye vision. Um, but she looks at the same vines and it's all glowing purple, this weird purpley energy. And then it cuts to behind Monica. And then who do we see standing behind? Who, again, like I said, was killed off last week, but I was wrong. Um, yeah, do, do you want to reveal it? we see him in the episode, isn't it? Yeah, that's the only time we see him in the post credits. I was like, no! Snoopers <laughs> gonna snoop. Oh, hello, mate. Hello. You're back. <laughs> You're back. Um, um, yeah, so Snoopers so, gonna snoop. Yeah, that's his line. Snoopers gonna snoop, and it just cuts the black. Evan Peters is in the first MCU post credit scene in Phase 4, which is mad mm. to say. I'm excited about the last two weeks. Um, oh, out of mm. the episode so Very. far, this isn't. Like, in terms of it was just... It felt a bit more paddy. Because it was like, we know... Like, stuff had been revealed, we'd gone a bit further, and then it was a bit sort of like, what now? And then it was the end well, was the main bit. The thing is, after Halloween and that ending last week, I don't know what you could have... Like, episode six. I don't know what you could have done, like, logically, plot-wise, what Wanda then could have done to then been like... Right, so I've expanded the hex. I don't think... I don't know what she could have done. So maybe her staying at home was, like, the only way of logically carrying it on i don't know she had to kind of take a back seat of some kind i don't know i don't know what she would have done next really but then like i say we finally got the reveal we know some answers to some questions we totally ignored as well so vision in the van with darcy um he says so darcy basically recaps the avengers films because he says previously in the another episode he's like what's an avenger like he don't remember nothing beforehand so Darcy tells him everything and sort of goes over the fact that, oh, he died twice and, you know, did we win? Did we save the universe? And did, uh, did, why did Wanda have to kill me? It's like, oh, well, because you wanted to and all this. But she, he immediately points out near the beginning, who is the fake Pietro? Why is he here? But how does he know he's fake yet he don't remember him being an Avenger? Like, how does that get explained? Is that the overthinking it or is that just a line to no, I think, troll I think us? I don't know. That's, it is a good point that you make. He's I don't know. It's, it's interesting. He's like, oh, what? who's the fake Pietro? It's like, well, 
Stop it. <laughs> stop it, Marvel. Stop it. Mm. Um, Don't let him be Mephisto. <laughs> Don't let for, him be Mephisto. Let Matt Berry be Mephisto. Where can we go for the last two phases? Oh, not two phases, two episodes. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, Disney Plus on Star. Um, no, uh, Disney what, Plus. What, what can where do? can we go? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, are we actually asking us where can we watch it? <laughs> I was like, no, well, I'll say that, yes. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Where does the show go? Um, I reckon some people said episode seven of uh, eight rather will be like a flashback, and we'll get Agatha's origin and as to how she knows Wanda because in the comics, Agatha, Agnes, whatever you want to call her, she's like the teacher of Scarlet Witch, and she's like the one that sort of really enhances her powers yeah, in the comics. But she isn't essential. necessarily a baddie. She isn't necessarily a baddie, though, from what I read as well. So there's like she's conflicting like things saying she's evil, right? she's not. It's her yeah, she's dogs. kind of in between. Mm. Mm. She's on the like she's morally grey, like she's a grey witch essentially. But she was morally grey um, in the black and white episodes. Ooh. <laughs> Explains why. Yeah. Um, Billy couldn't ever hear anything in her head, like she could hear everyone crying out, but could never. Yeah, like, like there's nothing, there's nothing coming from you. It's like, oh, I like this place. It's quiet. Like you're quiet. Uh, yeah, it's just like, and then she just stares at him for a while, and then she sort of just looks at the camera. And she, and she, I, even I was like, what? Stops what are resisting. those vibes? Um, oh. I'm excited. No, I reckon the kids will have to live. I think if anything goes, the kids will live. House of M, maybe. they didn't. House of M, they weren't real. I think Vision will die. Vision will die at the end. Mm. Scarlet will have to accept what she's done, and or what Agnes made her do, or what they both did, whatever, who did what, and they will have to just sacrifice Vision again for the greater good. The greater good, yeah, it sounds good to me. I don't think... Doctor Strange will turn up and get his book back, maybe. Yeah. Because that's the missing book from his bookshelf in the first movie. That's what everyone's speculating, is his missing really? book. Really? Yeah, there cool. is. A, there was a shot. Yeah, there is a shot. But the but the book, the Darkhold, is what the possible book might be. That's been in Agents of Shield. It was in Runaways. All right, different design entirely. But if they're implying it to be the same book, is that another? They're trying to connect everything now. Is that them trying to link things? Piece the puzzle together. Maybe the multiverse. I don't know. We'll have to find out next episode and in the episode after, which you can watch with us live on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no. Yes, Absolutely. so um, I'm really excited. <clears throat> we got some answers that we predicted, um, other questions. Yeah, yeah we did predict. Like, yes. is it just the corpse? Where's John Krasinski? Yeah, is it just the huh? corpse of Vision and Quicksilver? Like, where are we going with this? How is this going to end? And I can't wait to Is this Marvel this... Zombies? Oh, is this Marvel God. Zombies? If, if it was revealed, this is Marvel Zombies, and Doctor Strange has got, has got to bounce us into another universe, so we've got to find one. I don't know. Ooh, but more, yeah, the fact yeah. that this is going to lead into Multiverse of Madness, it's like, it's sort of starting to line up, but also kind of, there's still some. We're still on it. the fence. Yeah. I even saw the end, the big cameo that everyone's on about that might be better than Luke Skywalker reveal, which I'm hoping. I'm, I'm like, no offense, Mark Hamill. It was your voice, but it wasn't you. It was a weird CGI lookalike of you, so therefore it wasn't you. It was the character of Luke Skywalker if you yeah. took him straight out of Return of the Jedi. It should have been Ezra. It should have been Ezra. That would have been a real, like, oh my fucking god moment, because basically Ezra's character, as as far as we last seen him, like, he's just unknown. We don't know what happens to Ezra. We know what happened to Luke, because we saw the sequel trilogy, unfortunately. Luke, really like, Ezra would have just been a real, like... No, I just hope it's better. I just kind of want better. But I saw Tobey Maguire pop up as the final cameo. Oh. Purely to set up Spider-Man 3 more than Doctor Strange. But... I don't know. Is that the multiverse is well and truly screwed. But we'll have to find out yeah. next week, won't we? And, and by next week, I mean in two days' time, because we're obviously um, <laughs> pretty well confused by this, like, the Sunday that this comes out after episode 8. Well, we don't talk about it because we record it when we're not busy with our lives, because we work hard and and when we're back in the same room, it'll be a lot easier. But Well, that's all we can do. That's all we can do. <laughs> um, that's it. Thank you very much for listening and watching to another episode of this drivel and whatever it is that we do. Thank you once again, Connor, for um, doing No that worries. No worries. The that I do. Help me yeah. Do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do. yeah. You know the, the, thing? Thing? the thing with the talkies. Um, <laughs> the if, thing. The if thing. you want to get in touch with us throughout the week, um, make sure to follow at PaceTube across Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to drop us a message um, or shoot the, shoot the shit or just talk about the stuff you want. And if you want to send us a question that. Um, 
more stuff to talk about on the podcast, you can email us at nerdbiblecontact at gmail.com. Let us know who you think the cameo will be. I, I I can easily chat about it all day, but let us know who you want to turn up in one division. Do you want Ben Affleck to come to Marvel after all these years? Do you? Uh, no, not as dead. You want... Imagine if you... Daredevil in fucking Spider-Man 3. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, dear. And then Charlie Cox then walks in after us and goes, oh, oh, wrong room, sorry, this is the wrong yeah. court. <laughs> he just walks Can't up. Can't a lawyer? Oh. Yeah, I thought you need a lawyer. Oh, oh but, dear. Um, it turns out Agatha was behind this all along. Song so, available on Spotify. Stream it now. So until <laughs> Sponsored next, by Spotify. Until next week. Um, yes. Goodbye for now. But we'll see you again very soon. So um, get in touch, please. And we'll see you guys on the next one. And stay pasty. Yeah.